Live from San Francisco, extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube, covering Oracle Open World 2015. Brought to you by Oracle. Now your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live at day two, day one of the show, day two of the Cube. Here in San Francisco for Oracle Open World, we're on Howard Street, they're closing down the streets. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube. This is our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. I'm joined by my co-host Brian Gracely, um, cloud analyst at wikibon.com. Our next guest is Alexandra Florian, research and consulting director for Enterprise Solutions for Latin America for IDC. Another IDC analyst, great to have you on theCUBE. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. I'll see emerging markets and market opportunities are great. Latin America is booming. Can you share with us the opportunities for in that market for 2016? What do you, what does IDC see there? Sure, uh, regardless of the economical environments that we see in, Lat in Latin America, we are seeing several opportunities in the region, especially in the third platform technologies. IDC named the third platform technologies like uh, mobility, cloud, social media, and big data. So in this sense, we are seeing a big opportunity for the cloud business in, in, in the region, especially in the 2016, because we are seeing uh, a dynamic growth in this year, 38% of the growth year to year in, in, the, in, the cloud, uh, in, in the public cloud services in the region. Another uh, key, key point is the mobility workers in the region. We are seeing that the, by 2018, uh, at least 50% of the workers will be mobile. So this is a... a what percentage of the market? 50% of the workers will be mobile. In Latin America? In Latin America. By 2018? Yes. That's, I their, think that's their primary means of doing work is mobile. Yes, uh, this is a big shift, uh, shift uh, in terms of the how to do several activities in the region, so uh, especially in the big countries like uh, Brazil, Mexico, Chile, Argentina, Peru, etc. What are some of the market adoptions, um, trends in Latin America for Oracle Cloud? They have the marketing cloud, they got the database cloud, they got the big data cloud, they're going to have the IoT cloud in a couple months. I mean, they're going to have every Oracle type cloud. What areas are the hottest for that a region? Yes. In the case of the Oracle portfolio, we are seeing that the human talent management, this is the big opportunity for Oracle in the region. Another is the customer experience solutions. You know, around of the CRM solutions, we are seeing that the customer experience, that the uh, call center solutions, we are seeing part of the most important uh, Oracle solution in the region. You've obviously got colleagues that are in Europe. You've got them here in North, you know, in the United States. What do you see as you talk to them? What's the biggest difference uh, between some of those markets and the Latin American market, especially maybe something that wouldn't be obvious? Yes, in the case of the Latin America, uh, we have a lot of SMB, small and business companies. So as a part of the small business company strengths, uh, I think that the, 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 that the opportunity to grow in the SMB space is huge. Another different needs in Latin America, we have a big uh, oil and gas and, uh, and the utility sector is, is part of the, um, is a key element as a part of the economy. So in our opinion, the oil and gas sector, the utilities, the mining are the most important industries in the 2016. How is North America different from Latin America in terms of trends and consumption of the cloud and the technologies? What are you seeing as compare and contrast mm -hmm. the two markets? Yes, uh, I think that the, maybe the key difference is in Latin America, the top companies, the enterprises companies, are the most um, adopted companies in terms of the cloud. So the SMB space is maybe is, is, is slow in, in terms of the adoption, but uh, compared with the, with, the, with the US, the SMB is a big opportunity for companies like uh, Oracle. But what do you think drives that? Because here in the States, you know, lots of, I mean, the, the big companies are very technology savvy, but a lot of it's in-house. Uh, you know, the, the small companies, the startups are using the cloud. What do you think is driving the big companies in Latin America to be wanting to use, the, you know, going cloud faster than the smaller companies? Yes, uh, one of the, I think that the, the globalization effect in Latin America 
is part of the language in the enterprises companies in the region. So for this reason, I think that the tech savvy uh, elements in the enterprises in Latin America maybe is, is one of the most important elements to adopt technologies like uh, cloud or social business or even big data. In Latin America, the big data business is not a huge business, but we are seeing that the most important trends in around of the big data is the new kind of information, like uh, IoT solutions or uh, maybe the telecommunication transformation in the region is most is 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 one of the most important element in this part of the of the of the transformation in the region. Oracle Open World is a global conference. Yes. What's the representation from Latin America like here from a customer base standpoint? Can you share some insight into any kind of order, you know, anecdotal numbers, customer, a lot of customers here, you know, a little bit of customers, some customers, small, medium, large, contingent of I don't have the exactly number, What's your feel? but I feel that the, I see a lot of people from Brazil, from Mexico. Uh, this is my, four, my, my first time that here in the Oracle Open World, and every year I see an increase the number of the people that come from Latin America. So my feeling is Latin America take a, a, a good role in this, in this part of the, of the conference. I'm sure Internet of Things might be a big part of that and you guys at IDC research this third platform. Talk about the third platform, and where in, where in the stage of adoption or mindset of third platform is Latin America? Because in the US, it's platform two and a half. Yeah. It's not, it's not yet three, but they talk about three. We love three, three's great. Matt Eastwood and I love talking about platform three, but People are looking at platform two and a half because they got to build on existing yeah. stuff. Where, what's the Latin America update? Well, in terms of the IoT adoptions, um, it's part of the transformation, uh, especially in the uh, oil and gas and the energy sector in the region. In our opinion, they are the most important uh, industries uh, around of the IoT adoption. Maybe in the in the retail sector or in the healthcare sector, maybe it could be one part of the of the most important uh, industries in, in the region. Yeah, you know we hear customers talk about platform three. We've heard some some other analyst firm talk about bimodal because platform three and two are so different from each other. What what do you see? I mean, you're seeing a lot of platform three uptake. Who's driving it? Is it the line of business driving it? Is it IT driving it? Who's who's driving all this platform three growth? I think that the the platform three is the driver is the business process, the business transformation in Latin America. One of the most important services that we made in the region, in the top presidents and lion business executive in Latin America, we identified four business process to transform. The first one is to reduce the organization cost. This is one of the priorities for these companies. The second one is to increase the organization productivity. And the third one is uh, or improve the organization business process. May maybe this is the key part of the process that we need to invest in technology, invest in the third platform technologies. And the last one is the ability to attract and retain the workforce. For this reason, I think that the solutions like uh, Taleo is one of the most important solutions in the region now. So final question for you, I want to ask you, um, any numbers you can share, market share, are you guys slicing the market down there? Is there segmentation in the numbers? How is IDC measuring the success of the cloud players in Latin America? One of the key metrics to measure the cloud success in Latin America is, the first one is the, re the annual revenues for the cloud service providers, but the second one is the number of the clients in the region. So in this sense, we are seeing that the Oracle has a good position in terms of the, met in, in terms of the market share in Latin America, especially in the annual revenues as a part of the cloud services uh, solution in the region. Thank you so much for sharing the data from IDC here on Thank the you. Cube. We're, we're data driven. We'd love to share the data and share it with the audience. I'll give you the final word. What's the vibe here? What's the feeling in Oracle Open World this year? What's different from this year than previous Oracle Open Worlds? I think for me is the transformation around the cloud. Cloud is the word, the word, the keyword cloud. So in my opinion, 
Uh, Latin America is part of this transformation. The cloud is one of the opportunities to adopt new technologies, new services, and to improve several business processes in the region. Azar, thank you so much for spending the time. Oh, this is the Cube. We are live here in Howard Street. We're getting all the data. We're getting all the data from around. It's a global conference. 60,000 people are going to shut down San Francisco. Of course, exclusive coverage here on Silicon Angles, the Cube. Go to wikibon.com for some great research from Brian Gracious, Stu Miniman. Go to IDC and check out the reports they have. You go to siliconangle.tv and get all the videos. We'll be right back with more from Howard Street live in San Francisco with theCUBE after this short break.